Secret of the Haunted Garden. Let's go. Dear Nixon, <gasps> I am both Look excited at this stationery! It's so sure good! Mrs. Danforth. Also, I love how the subtitles are the Jane talking. <gasps> the Halloween snacks! Look at that cake! It looks like a she piece of cheese. She has not returned to her family home, the Dyer Mansion, just in time for Halloween. I have volunteered <gasps> to go and help her straighten things up and evict any spiders and other creepy crawlies. That <laughs> I forgot it was called in her the Dyer Mansion. <laughs> she sounds a little discouraged. But it could just be that she's still recovering a bit herself from taking care of her cousin. Of course, there have always been the rumors that the Dyer Mansion may be haunted. So this will give me a chance Front to do investigating and see if there's any truth to the old rumors, or maybe find out that they are just that, old rumors. I should arrive at the Dyer Mansion tomorrow evening, and I can't imagine a more exciting way to spend Halloween. I'll write more as soon as I have time. <gasps> That's so good! Yeah, Look at the tiny cats! Aww! Storm roaring. I totally missed the whole first page of the plot. <laughs> what was it about? I know. <gasps> there, wait, there's something in the window. Did you see that? Oh, that was spooky, all right. Oh, boy. I love the Halloween decorations. <gasps> oh! Is that someone digging? Oh! <gasps> Digging. Digging my grave! I love that she's wearing Heelys. Oh, it's the haunted garden, everyone! <gasps> oh, it's even better than I expected! <gasps> A ghost! Is that you, Jane? <laughs> yes, I just arrived. <laughs> she just calmly the closes I'm the gate. For you in the kitchen. How could I hear her? Where was she? Her voice was like in my head. I'm in the kitchen. Come back and get warm. I love her voice is exactly the same volume as it was when I was quite a distance from the house in the pouring rain. <laughs> Look at those delightful Halloween treats. Good evening, Jane. How are you doing this evening, Mrs. Danforth? Oh, Where she's not my aunt. Thank you. How was your trip? I, I thought I thought it was her aunt. Who is she? I, like I said, I missed the first page of exposition. It was quite pleasant. <laughs> I'm not gonna mention that I saw a ghost digging in the graveyard in the garden. It was quite pleasant. And I love that we have a storm tonight, as it seems so fitting with Halloween just around the corner. Yes, I've always had a fondness for thunderstorms myself. Yes! <laughs> yes! <gasps> I thought I saw what looked like a Grim Reaper! Wait, she thought it was the Grim Reaper? And she acted that calmly? Like, I would have been like, Oh shit, death has come for me! These are the last moments of my life! And she was just like, mm, Shut the door on that! <laughs> I think we should call pest control. Looks like you got a bit of a Grim Reaper problem, Mrs. Danforth? Yes. <laughs> when I came up just now, I thought I saw what looked like a Grim Reaper in the garden. I thought I saw something too. It was probably just someone getting a head start on Halloween. Oh, those silly kids in their costumes. <laughs> Feels like it's time for me to give up our family home and move into an apartment which will make my life simpler. No! Move out of the dire mansion? <laughs> I can't imagine your beautiful home, the Dyer Mansion, <laughs> without you in it. I want to remind you all that the protagonist of this game is not Nancy Drew. She is the daughter of Mr. Darcy and whatever the fuck her name is from Pride and Prejudice. Lizzie Bennet. <laughs> That's that's our protagonist. She's the daughter of Mr. Darcy and Lizzie Bennet from the Regency era, uh, yet this game is set in... <laughs> Modern day uh, America? At least I think it's modern day. Maybe it's the 1950s. Um, but it's definitely set not in England. And she doesn't have a British accent. It's like they're, they were also just like, well, we need 
a, a character from from literature to be our protagonist because you know Nancy Drew. That's what that's the whole deal with Nancy Drew. We need to copy Nancy Drew in every way. Um, and they're like, what's a character that girls like? Uh, oh, girls like Jane Austen. But there's no children in Jane Austen. There's no young girls in Jane Austen. Let's just make up a child of one of them and put them in contemporary America. Sounds great. Perfect. Kids would love it. Girls would love it. I can't imagine your beautiful home without you in it, especially at the holidays. Yes, it is a big step. But for me to remain here, I should probably have some help with the house and the grounds. Both of which are in expanse. I'm not certain I can manage. I think you already have some help out in the garden, in the grounds. <laughs> the Grim Reaper, you seem to be doing a bit of yard work out there for you. I can certainly understand your concerns, but I can't help wishing that things could work out where you would be comfortable in your family I don't home. think she wants yes, to stay here, Jane. My first choice, but I have to be realistic. Perhaps if my husband were still alive or we had had children, there might be more choices. Well, what if her husband is the ghost the Halloween, in the so garden? The one we can treasure. The one who looks like the Grim Reaper. Did your husband look like the Grim Reaper with glowing red eyes by any chance? I see you have been making some lists and have been getting treats ready. What can I do to help? I have a list of things to put in a box marked extra special. Oh. Or you could make some caramel oh. apples. Caramel apples? You could stop dusting. It seems everything has become quite covered in dust while I was away. That sounds thrilling. I want, I want to make some caramel, caramel apples. I always loved your caramel apples at Halloween. I would love to have a chance to make those. I want to get a close-up of these treats, Hello, but whenever I try, it just makes me talk to stupid work. Mrs. Danforth. They look so good. Like, look, those are like mummy cookies, giant mummy cookies, some like... Halloween candy corn parfait, maybe? These little cauldron drinks, perhaps? They've got straws in them. They're so good. Okay, apples. Sticks. Caramel. Caramel. We, she said, don't let it get too hot or something like that. How do I adjust the temperature of the stove? Okay, what am I... Oh, I got a stick. I got an apple. Plunk. I plunked it. That's one. Really? That's- that's all? Wait, where'd it go? Where'd it go? I've lost my caramel apple! Wait, is it- Does the- Does it not have There's to be- two. What? Does it not have to be a specific temperature? I don't understand. She said don't let the stove get too hot. But then I couldn't adjust the stove. Three. Is it already at the perfect temperature? I have <laughs> whatever. Now four apples halfway there. Halfway there. She's got to give me encouragement. Oh my god, these apples look so good. Up to five. Oh, they look like the perfectly red apples. Although they also kind of look like the ones that someone would use to poison Six. you and send you into an internal sleep, from which you can only be woken up by your true love. Either one. Eight. All done. That's it. Okay, can I see my hard work? Where are the apples? Where are they? I feel like they should be on this little tray. They're not in my inventory. <laughs> Mrs. Danforth, I made the apples, but I seem to have lost them. Hello, Jane. <laughs> Mrs. Danforth, I've got the carameled apples ready. Those caramel the caramel apples. Look apples. Great. I'll put these away <gasps> until the trick or treaters. Wait, open. she's giving the trick or treaters actual, like, whole caramel apples she must be the best house to go to on halloween oh gee would i like to pack up a box or tackle the dusting which thrilling activity are we gonna do now let me take your list and start packing that box for you that sounds great here's the list i'm so glad you could come it makes this task much less daunting. Yeah, what are you doing? She's sitting there doodling on her little pad. She's not even doing anything. I mean, I guess to be fair, she has made this whole table of treats. Items to put in the extra special box in the kitchen. Plush cow, turkey lamp, books, picture, peanut squirrel salted pepper shakers, and wedding tablecloths. These are extra special items indeed. 
<laughs> oh my god! Who could forget the plush cow, the beloved plush cow, the family heirloom, the priceless turkey lamp? Okay, well there's- is that a turkey lamp? No, these are the squirrel salt and pepper shakers. That must be the wedding tablecloth. Oh, look at that. Already marked off two on my list. Okay, I guess we can't go through there. It's blocked by boxes. Where else can I look? In here. Any turkey lamps in here? Oh, this is a haunted room if I ever saw one. <laughs> oh my. Look at this. I mean, this does give off Pride and Prejudice vibes, to be fair. Okay, any turkey lamps in here? I feel like this isn't a room for turkey lamps. Like, you go in the hall and the kitchen, and it's like kitsch trinkets and stuff, and then in here, it's like, yeah, right out of the Regency era. What are- oh, those are the books, right? They come detached or attached to each other. Who's that? Picture. Who is that? Who is that man? He's special. He's extra special. This is a very spooky room. I feel like this- it must be colder than the rest of the house, 100%. Oh my god, she's stealing Nancy's line! It's, it's locked. locked! You're not allowed to say that, Jane. Don't stand where she stood. Wait, is that the only one I can go to upstairs? Like, I can't... That's it? That one door? Really? But what if the turkey it's lamp locked. is in one of the other rooms? Oh! Here's the plush cow! Oh my god, it's a crossword cow! That's amazing! Wearing a little crossword paper hat and doing its own miniature crossword? Amazing! I love this turkey lamp. He's wearing glasses. Where can I get me one of these? Truly extra special. Is the miniature ferris wheel not extra special? That's extra special in my book. I think we found all the items now, actually. Okay, let's pack away these extra special Comic Sans items. Clunk. <laughs> Just throw the turkey lamp in there, Jane! Why did the plush cow make a clunk noise? Like, a whole point of a plush is that it's soft. It shouldn't make a clunk noise when you put it in the box. They all make the exact same clunk noise. Even the tablecloth. <laughs> clunk goes the tablecloth. Okay, clunk, clunk, clunk. I did it, Mrs. Danforth. Hello, Jane. Hello, Jane. I have the box all packed. That is great. Would you like to do something else? No, not really, but I guess I have to. I think I I you know what I want to do? I want to do some ghost bunsting. I want to do some help. ghost hunting. Could you stop with the desk in the living room? Here's a dusting cloth. Make sure not to overtire yourself. I love how they just left out a really important part of her directions in the subtitles. Like, she said, you can start with the desk in the living room. But they didn't say that in the subtitles. So if you were listening without sound, you wouldn't know where to start. <laughs> You'd be kind of stuck. Where is the living room, actually? I don't think we've been to a living room, unless this is supposed to be a- Oh no, the living room must be the haunted room! Why didn't you just say the haunted peacock room, ma'am? Oh, here's the desk. This is going to look like new when it's dusted. Oh wow, yeah, that is a lot of dust, <laughs> Mrs. Danforth. Holy a shit. secret compartment? What? A secret compartment? Where? This? Where? Where's- where's this- oh, key. here! A key? What's it for? Well, that was cool! Dusting is actually oh, a more exciting I activity than I thought. <gasps> oh, that's a spook! It was different before! Oh my god, we're being haunted already! <laughs> the spooktacular changing painting! A dust rag caught on a small lever which opened a hidden compartment. In the compartment, was this unusual key? I never knew the desk had a hidden compartment. However, is it a turkey? Get it? Cause she had a turkey it. lamp. I'll definitely think I'll about it and that see one. if anything comes to mind. It would be fascinating to discover what this key opened. Perhaps it's even a key to a hidden. Oh, treasure. I hope so. I doubt that, but it is a wonderful hope. You pessimist! I'm so glad you're here to help. 
We've accomplished quite a lot this evening. Uh, yes, we? and it has been a lot of fun. It's too. been a lot of fun. Finding the hidden drawer. Oh, well, that was fun. Mysterious key. Yes, I hope some memory about the key comes back to me. Well, I guess we should be going to bed now. We will have a lot to do tomorrow. Bedtime for Jane what Darcy. Was that? What what was what, what wait, I missed it. A spook? Oh, <gasps> wait. I didn't think Mrs. <gasps> Danforth had any pets. It's a ghost cat. <gasps> Oh my god, it's a ghost cat! <laughs> Great Caesar's ghost! A ghost kitty! Great Caesar's ghost! <gasps> this is already like 10 times better than the first Miss Clue game. I'm going to follow those prints before they disappear. Okay, I guess I'm not going to bed then. It almost <gasps> seems as though the ghost kitty is trying to lead me somewhere. Is it what where? is this? There must be something inside. Whoa! <gasps> I wonder what this is. A peacock box. I better get to bed. I can look at it more in the I want to see your peacock box. <laughs> to quote Katy Perry. Wait, she's just leaving it in there? Take it with you! Jane. Wait, so my room is this one. Look at this room. Slightly less haunted. I, I wonder if we can see the Grim Reaper from our window. I'm like, it's weird. This game feels like it's low-key trying to emulate the Regency period in acknowledgement that its character is supposed to be from that time. But it's also, like, definitely not. Because I don't think they made, like, cauldron-shaped cocktails in Jane Austen's time. And I don't think they had shark slate-shaped slippers. It's locked. I wonder. Oh. <laughs> I thought I'd try it at least. Oh my god. Wait, why That's is it? My favorite shirt. That's your favorite shirt? The design is reversed. There's been a printing error on your shirt, Jane. <laughs> Look at that. It's backwards. I'm glad I brought that. That's I so embarrassing. That's like, this is kind of like, they're like, I guess kind of the. Like, I don't really understand the relationship between Miss Clue and Virtual Family Kingdom, but I think they're like kind of connected but this is so embarrassing you're trying to advertise your your site and you haven't even noticed that the design is printed backwards like they didn't check that before releasing the game <laughs> also i think I'm i should just I take that. the flashlight now need it later like why what why not just take it now why can i not just take it huh huh oh, oh. Oh, what if there's a spooky nightmare sequence? Another beautiful oh. day in the neighborhood. Where did I put my sweater? Is that a Mr. Rogers reference? <laughs> okay. I hope I go downstairs and find Mrs. Danforth murdered by a ghost. I think that would be very exciting. Oh, I should check my pe the peacock box. What's that sound? <gasps> oh, spooky! The door opened by itself. Oh! Oh my boyfriend! And now you think you are going to wed this type of diamond necklace to your wedding? I did not steal your boyfriend. And besides, father has said I can wear the necklace. I can't stop your wedding, but you will never wear the necklace. I have to tell Mrs. Danforth about this, but I don't want to frighten her. After all. I'm not even sure what that was. I can barely hear it. I wish they'd had subtitles instead of being muffled argument. I got the impression that it was someone saying you can't wear the necklace to the wedding. Something like that. I think I'll take a quick look and see if I can open this box. Yeah. I'm not sure I could ever guess the right combination oh. <laughs> to open this box. Wait! Perhaps I'll find some clue to opening this box while helping to get the house ready. Wait, so I she- better get back to dusting. What? More dusting? She was like, oh, I think I'll take a minute to open this box. No, I could never open this box. Oh. Oh, interesting. Okay, you can turn the little- Okay. Okay, so we gotta look out for some kind of tail feather design while we're dusting. Mrs. Danforth! Mrs. Danforth! The house is haunted! <gasps> This is the stuff! This is the stuff! Oh my god! Message in a haunted mansion? Who? Did anyone just come in here? Morning, Jane. No, I've just been in here working by myself. Has anyone ever told you that your house 
The Dyer Mansion is haunted? No, wait, I think there. she did say there were rumors about it being haunted. I was just wondering, have you ever had a cat that was very special to you? Not really, but my sister did. The kitty would always run upstairs and be waiting for her when she came Aww. to bed. His name was Kit. Kit. <laughs> Sometimes, I know it's silly, but I imagine I still see Kit about the house. <laughs> that's oh, funny. I think that's so do I. I. I thought I remembered that you had a sister. Yes, but she died long ago. Mm. I wonder if she was the ghost lady. Were you and your sister very close? Yes, we were when we were young. But then we had an argument. An argument about a necklace at a wedding, by any chance? Would you mind telling me something about that? Well, it was so long ago, and yet in many <gasps> ways, it's just like yesterday. We quarreled on the day of my wedding. Yes. And then she eloped <gasps> with our gardener. Eloped with However, the gardener. All of us only sadness, as they were killed in a tragic accident. That must be the ghost man in the garden. He's the the ghost of the gardener. She was convinced that I had stolen her boyfriend, but it wasn't anything like that. Wasn't it? Well, what was it like, Mrs. Danforth? Give me the gossip, lady. I found a charming peacock box just before going to bed. <laughs> the last intonation night. on some of these sentences. I found a charming peacock yes, box. I remember that box. <gasps> it was a favorite of my sister's. Is there some trick to opening the box? Yes, but only my sister knew it. If you could get it open, it would be quite interesting to see what was inside. Probably something put in there when we were young girls. Probably a clue. I'll let you get back to your work. Okay. I I guess I have to go do some more dusting or I'm going to go look in the peacock room actually for a clue about um how to work the peacock box, I think. Like, how to open it. Like, this was- no, this one doesn't have specific tail feathers. Hmm. I wonder if I can go outside. I want to see the haunted garden in all its haunted glory. What? I can't- what? I can't go outside? I thought this game was called the Haunted Garden, not the Haunted Mansion. Oh! Oh, I can go out this way. <gasps> the Haunted Garden. It's a fish. You would have thought it would be a peacock because of the peacock motif, but it's not. Hello? Can I feed him? Can I feed him a key? No. I think I'll eventually be able to do something with this, though. My magnifying glass lights up when I mouse over it. Oh. L leaves. Leaves. Okay. Maybe I should get a shovel and I can I can dig like that ghost was digging. <gasps> the sundial. Great Shirley Jackson reference. Okay. Maybe there'll be a sundial puzzle at some point. <gasps> Is this a little summer house? Those looks like a suspicious carpet of leaves. I feel like I'm gonna brush it off and there'll be a secret trapdoor under there. I feel like that's gonna happen. Can I go this- Oh, what? Oh, it's a peacock. Of course. Okay, again, this feels like I'll need to come back to it. Can I dust it? <laughs> I'm gonna try to dust everything I see now. Let's dust the fish. No, I can't dust the fish. See, I can't seem to do anything out here. Oh! I got jump scared by a rake. <laughs> I bet I can rake off those suspicious leaves now. I wonder if I can... Wait, I'm gonna go back to the first spot with the leaves and rake that. Because I feel like that'll be less interesting. We, we gotta build up to the exciting leaf pile. Wait. <laughs> it's over here somewhere. Here it is. Rake. Okay, no, I can't rake this. Okay. Wait, I can't rake these suspicious leaves? Really? Well, what's the point of having a rake? I feel like there's some, like, very specific thing I have to, like, find or see. And it's... I haven't found it yet. Oh! <gasps> I... I'm dusting the mantle! Oh? What's this? What's this? Jinx. Oh! 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 
Oh! This looks like a It's the clue for the peacock box! I knew it! Didn't I just say there's something very specific I had to see and do? Okay. Well, I've got a picture of that, so I can go open the peacock box. Nice. Okay, left, two. Wait. Left, two, like that? And then right... Six. Oh! It said I had to turn the flower four, but I didn't touch the flower. Well, that's fine. <laughs> Time reflects near Hallow's Eve to reveal what I must leave. Fish and fowl, sand and water, find the treasure of this daughter. There is a hidden treasure! Yippee! <laughs> okay, and I got some mirrors? I guess I'll go tell Mrs. Danforth about that. Mrs. Danforth! Mrs. Danforth! You'll never guess it's what not. I found in the baseboard. A weird little poem. And some mirrors. I've gotta put those in the extra special box. Mrs. Danforth, I have the box open. My, what was in it? All the sins of the world, <laughs> Mrs. Danforth. It seems you were correct. It only had a couple of mirrors and the short poem. Could I see those? This but also a tiny little life. shred she of was hope. Always great and poetic <laughs> I'm not sure. This Wait, one can be. I want to be known for that. I want to no be known for always creating poetic riddles. I want that to be what people remember me for. I wonder if the riddle is related to the mirrors. That's a great idea. It would be just like her to do that. With that storm last night. It seems the garden is covered in leaves. Would you mind doing some raking this morning? Oh, you wouldn't Not believe how ready I am to rake, Mrs. It was Danforth. It's a morning to be out in the garden. A wonderful morning oh, to be out in the garden? It's foggy and gray. Like, I would argue it's a it's a wonderful morning to be in bed, cozy and warm. Not out in the garden raking leaves, a little weirdo. Oh, what a lovely day to be out in the garden. The sky's a beautiful gray-green color. Ah, oh, smell that brisk, smoggy air. This girl is nuts. Oh, <gasps> necklace! Oh, <gasps> what? All my hard work! <laughs> Do you think a ghost wrote that on the on the ground? Necklace. Is it just gonna keep doing it? I'm trying to rake the leaves, goddammit! No, it's not gonna let me rake the leaves! The ghost hates me, it's torturing me. This is a mean ghost. You know what I think? I think it's just because they didn't want to prepare another screen that had the leaves gone. I think that's why. <laughs> oh, there's not a secret trap door. There's whatever. This could be useful. What the heck is that? I'm so disappointed. I thought it was going to be a secret trap door. It's the... What the heck? This sucks. Dusting does solve a lot of problems. <laughs> the moral of this story is clean your house. <laughs> That's what this game is teaching you. Always keep a tidy house, unlike Mrs. Danforth here, who's just inviting in all the ghosts with her lackluster cleaning, leaving dust to pile up until the desk changes color. Disgusting. I spit on you, Mrs. Danforth. This game gives me, like, no direction. Which I kind of like, but I also kind of don't like. So we got- we got a peacock. Oh! Oh. Okay! I would- I wouldn't have expected to do that! Okay! I did something right! I'm figuring it out! Put this one on here. Reflect... Reflect the light. Although there's no sun, so I don't know how this is gonna work. I'm gonna put this one on the fish, I think. That makes sense, right? They're- they're both kind of perpendicular. Yeah, look at that! Where is this light coming from? Where is this light coming from? Show me. Oh, I have to- oh. What? Oh. 
Maybe I have to point at those points that it highlights. So there and there. Oh, click. I'm figuring it out. I'm using my brain. Is this not? Oh, maybe I maybe I did it. Is there a secret trap door in here now? It clicked once. I don't know if it had to click again. Okay, there I hear it. Maybe I turn it, like, the other way now. Okay, no, no, the other way, the other way. I think it's like a, you turn it this way, and then you turn it the other way until you get to the other spot. Let's see if I'm right. Aha! Oh my god, I'm feeling smart. No, now what? Oh, put in this. No, put in the key! Oh! <gasps> I hope I don't use a walkthrough at all, this whole game. That's my goal. I, especially because there aren't a lot of walkthroughs out there for these games. Ooh, this journal belongs to Cassandra Dyers! No way, is that her name? Cassandra Dyers! In the, from the Dyer Mansion. Oh, Oct 28th. I can't believe everything that is happening. I feel like I'm living in a nightmare. How appropriate. With Halloween just a few days away, you could call my life Nightmare in Dire Mansion. That was a working title for the game. Everybody is excited for Halloween. And what is even more frightening than Halloween? My sister's pending nuptials. I think a witch's outfit would be the perfect wedding dress for my sister, but then that would be saying bad things about witches. I know we have a set of several times great grandmother Mary, who was hung for religious who was hung for for religious reasons. I'm not sure that makes her a witch, but it does seem to run in the family where my sister is concerned. I'm going to talk to Thomas one more time this afternoon, but I'm afraid he is completely under my sister's spell. I am not done yet until later. Oh my god. Cassandra. She's a drama queen. October 29th. This is the worst day of my life. I have been in love with Thomas since we were children and all played together in the garden. I can still remember when we were 12 and he kissed me under the apple tree. I knew then we were destined to be together. Oh my god, just like a Adam and Eve. I almost said just like Apple and Eve. Now my sister has ruined my life and is going to marry Thomas this afternoon. She's always wanted to wear the dire diamonds <laughs> at her wedding. But at least this I will deny her. I have already talked to our gardener, Jake, and have a plan to conceal them where they will never be found. Jake is older than I am, but he claims to love me, so I have agreed to elope with him today! I just hope this bit of scandal makes my sister's wedding day ever so special for her. We'll see who gets the most attention this day, until later. And then she never wrote in her diary again, cause she died. My god. That is so spiteful, like to go to such effort just cause you don't like your sister. Also, I think it's like she's entirely blaming her sister on this, but I think, you know, Thomas also, like, is involved, you know? He doesn't love you. Maybe just accept that. Accept that he loves your sister. It's not her fault. I found your dead sister's diary. Sounds like she doesn't like you very much, eh, Mrs. Danforth? Hello, Jane. Mrs. Danforth. I found this journal in a secret compartment in the sundial. I think it is your sister's. Yes, it is. I remember that. I I didn't bring the diary with me. How does she know? Did your family very once suspicious. Have a diamond necklace? Yes, it was the dire diamond. In fact, my sister and I quarreled about the necklace on my wedding day. Do you know where the necklace is now? No, it disappeared at the time of my sister's elopement. However. If it could be found, it would solve so many money issues for me. I think oh. we might just be able to discover what happened to your necklace. And I think it may be related to what has been happening in the garden. In fact, oh. I'm going back to check the garden now. I hope there's a spooking there. Also, I, I like... 
<laughs> the faces in this game, or the face, because we've only really talked to one person, are like even less animated than those in, in like, say, Stay Tuned for Danger. Like, the mouth barely moves, occasionally the eyes mechanically blink like she's an animatronic. Oh! <gasps> A spooking? Oh, he's back! The Grim Reaper! He's also wearing Heelys. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> I was just like, hey, what are you doing? And he turns and then just slowly wheels away. Well, she just stands there, watching, <laughs> like you're not gonna go after him. Also, I gotta say, the movement on his cloak is pretty impressive, considering what I was just saying about how mechanical and unanimated the faces are. Like, that that looked like real fabric. <gasps> A hole? Hmm. hmm. Okay, I guess I'll go in and tell Mrs. Danforth about that. <laughs> When in doubt, tell Mrs. Danforth. Mrs. Danforth! Mrs. Danforth! I saw the Grim Reaper again! He dug a little hole outside. Hello, Jane. I Our Grim Reaper! Again. Our Grim Reaper! This time <laughs> She's staking her digging. claim on the Grim Reaper! Why he would be digging in the garden. He's the looking for the hidden want? treasure, Mrs. Danforth, you fool! <laughs> when I yelled, what are you doing? He gave me an awful look and ran away. He didn't answer. Can you believe that? Grim Reapers these days, they've just got no manners. When I yelled, what are you doing? He gave me an awful look and ran away. We always have a few pranks that have a <laughs> So we probably don't need to be too concerned. Mrs. Danforth, this is the Grim Reaper. He's digging a grave in your garden. Who do you think he's digging the grave for? You're like 89 years old. I think you should be concerned. You're right. It is Halloween. Yes, but it's Halloween. Still, while it is getting late, I suppose we should get to bed soon. We have a big day tomorrow. She, Jane was just like, Halloween. oh, it's a lovely morning. She dusts one mantelpiece and suddenly it's like 9 p.m. Oh! <gasps> Oh, <gasps> the ghost cat again! Little Kit! What is that? Where is the Kit light Kat. Switch? Spooky nightmare. Yes! Spooky nightmare! <gasps> Cassandra, is that you? She's looking at my chest! She's looking at my chest! Cassandra, my eyes are up here! I better check out. Yes, more opportunity for spooks. Let's go! Put on your shark slippers, girl. Let's go. Also, that is no way that is Mrs. Danforth. That sounded like a totally different person. If Jane gets fooled by this, she is a fool. Jane, come down, I need you. I'll be right down, Mrs. Danforth! I'll be right down, Mrs. Danforth. Because that's definitely Mrs. Danforth. <gasps> what an idiot! Jane Darcy, daughter of prominent Darcy family, taken to hospital. After an unfortunate accident down the stairs of the dire mansion, Dane, Jane Darcy, daughter of the prominent Darcy family, was taken to the hospital. Costume party at the Grand Hotel? A hosting Grand Costume Party, the Grim Reaper costume, has been voted most popular. Well, that's solved. Mystery solved. Another chance in impact font. I love that. It's definitely not a second chance. It's another chance. I think I was supposed to get the flashlight. Who's down there? That sounded like an Oh, I just wasn't supposed to believe that she was Mrs. Danforth. I well, I didn't. I just thought that would be funnier. Better get my flashlight. An intruder or worse, a ghost. Blaster 3000. Guaranteed to blast any shadow within a thousand feet. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm ready to blast with my shadow blaster 3000. <laughs> <laughs> the Shadow Blaster 3000, let's go. I don't 
thousand within three thousand feet did it say i don't know oh there's something in the way that's better what I better go down and check the door okay. that was a lame use of a flashlight that was very quick shadow blaster 3000 i have a questions uh your first question is probably where do i buy the shadow blaster 3000 um, how much does it cost? So I can tell you, friend, you can get your very own Shadow Blaster 3000 for the low, low price of $9.99. I'm 30% off if you use code SNUGLY now. Now, now, now. It's only applicable in the next half an hour, so get down there. <laughs> Buy your Shadow Blaster 3000 before this deal runs out. It's locked. Okay, good. That's what I was checking, right? To make sure the door was locked. Oh, I better check the glass door in here. Sure hope I don't get spooked when I press my face against it. What? It's locked. Okay. I know Mrs. Danforth needs her sleep. I better not wake her. I should get back to bed myself. But who Tomorrow was down was here? And it's <gasps> going to be busy. Tomorrow is Halloween, so just forget. Uh, the creepy voice you heard downstairs and the fact that both the doors were locked. I'm sure it's fine. Just the ghosts. Morning, Jane. Can I open this chest? It's locked. How did the ghost open it? Ah, hello, friend. I wonder what kid is trying to tell me. Um, that it, it's a good kitty. Maybe. Mm hmm. That it wants food. Oh, <laughs> look at Mrs. Danforth! She's got her witch costume on. Do I have a costume? I hope so. Because remember, today is Halloween. How did you sleep? I Very love well. your outfit, Mrs. But Danforth. I did have an odd dream, and I was awakened once by some bumps in the so night. Some bumps? You heard a person gone. talking to you, saying, Jane, come downstairs, Jane. That wasn't a bump. What is wrong with this girl? She just, like, totally understates everything. Which, which should I say? I love your witch hat and apron. Or, I love your hat and apron. <laughs> I also like her, her, um, candy corn colored dress. That's fabulous. I love your witch hat and apron. It's really starting to feel like Halloween. Why, thank you, Jane. I think I'll go straighten some boxes, really? Can I straighten these boxes? No. These boxes are not for straightening. Oh, this is the box that Kit was sitting on, right? I wonder who he was. I wonder if he's Thomas. Is there multiple? This must have been Cassandra's music. Let me try playing this. Okay. I hope I don't actually have to play it myself. Why does why is there multiple pictures of this man in here? Weird. Let's go play a song, a little tune, on the piano, or on the harp? No, on the piano. That's odd. It sounds like one of the notes. Oh, <gasps> there's off. something hidden in the piano. Oh, what's this? <gasps> it looks like an old key. I wonder if it fits in the trunk. It's either got to be the trunk or the locked door upstairs. I don't know why I can't ask Mrs. Danforth about the locked door upstairs and be like, hey, what's the door that's locked upstairs? Can I get in there? Cause she probably has a spare key. But Jane's just a little idiot. You know, it's like, are you smarter than a fifth grader? For Jane, the answer would be no. She probably is a fifth grader. I'm definitely I smarter than check her. With Mrs. Danforth first. Really? The ghost didn't check with Mrs. Danforth first? They're inflating the game time by doing this. <laughs> you gotta pad out the game somehow. I, I, is she gonna give me a witch hat? I want to just imagine myself wearing a witch hat, even if I can't see it. Hello, Jane. I found this photo of a young man in uniform, and he my is pumpkin. so handsome. My, my. I haven't seen that photo in years. I haven't seen that photo in years. <laughs> Do you know him? He was my son. Oh, John. my but son we John. Lost him during the war. It, it was a very difficult time. How? In fact, it was in the garden I received the In the garden. <laughs> my mother fears most. 
the one that told me I had lost my son to the war. She has changed accents! She had like a southern accent at the start of this game, remember? She was like, caramel apples! And now she's doing like a Boston accent? It was in the garden! You know? I'm like, what? <laughs> and also, how old is she? When is this game set? Are my two questions. Maybe it is set in the 1950s. No, but she's too old. I think. I just, I have got some questions. Yes, it was one of her favorites. Oh, now she she's southern again. Yay! I know you also play beautifully. Don't hesitate to play any time <laughs> I've already done so that. <laughs> I found this key under a string in the piano. Is that why that note has been off all these years? I kept meaning to get the piano tuned. But after Cassandra left, no one played much. She is such a procrastinator. She that never dusts. She's been I meaning to get the, the piano tuned she got, when, since she got married when she was just a young thing. That's probably like at least 50 years ago. Oh my god. Like, I, it makes me feel better about my procrastination. It's not nearly as bad as that. Do you happen to know where that trunk is? I know where yes. it is. We haven't had that trunk open since Cassandra oh left. God. More procrastination. Kind of I'm liking this one a lot more than the first one, I gotta be honest. Um, the first one had some choice moments, like you get to make do a donut for a parrot. Um, but this one is just like, I feel like it's a perfect level of difficulty. There are some really solid spooks. Um, I'm just very entertained. It's got the perfect spooky Halloween vibes. Ooh, cement! Quality oh, Canadian cement! Canada's most well-known import. Cement. That's very suspicious. So maybe she cemented the necklace somewhere. Like in the garden or something. What the heck is that? Okay. That's the picture that changed in the um in the portrait downstairs. A puzzle? What's this? Blue, purple, yellow, red fountain. We're finding a lot of clues in here. This is good. I love, like, the contrast between thinking that is potentially a picture of Cassandra and then her having this weird, very plastic-looking blue thing it's locked. that looks like it's from a completely different time. It's very weird. Like, I really would desperately love to know what time period this game is supposed to be set in. Okay, let's go, let's go tell Mrs. Danforth what we found. See, if this was a Nancy Drew game, she'd be a lot more self-reliant and she wouldn't go running to Mrs. Danforth about everything and being like, Oh, Mrs. Danforth, can I have your permission to use this key? Etc. Hello, Jane. Oh, oh wait, we can't tell her? Oh! Cassandra! Hmm. Oh, she sat down again. Are you... She's doing her squats. She sat down three times. What does that mean? Hmm. I've already found the secret compartment in there, though, Cassandra. Are, is it just supposed to suggest that Cassandra put the key in there? Because, I mean, who else would have put the key in there? Mrs. Danforth doesn't remember. Oh. She's at it again. <laughs> Cassandra, come back here. Just chase... Oh! What do you mean, were you just writing something? That's your question? Uh, she's obviously, she's been sitting there for three days writing. That's not the pertinent question here. Did you just have a ghost sit on top of you, Mrs. Danforth? Were you That's the question. Something? I'm still working on getting my list completed. Are you certain? You seem rather lost in thought. For just a second. No, never mind. Oh, my. What is this? This is in my sister's handwriting. She didn't read that out for some reason, even though it's, like, very important. That's, like, the most important point. What does it say? This is so touching. It says, I am so sorry. I have always loved you. I love you still. Don't trust her. Sister, Don't trust Sandra. that bitch. I know it might seem hard to believe, but for just a moment, when I entered the kitchen, I could have sworn I saw your sister Cassandra sitting where you are now. That is odd. I really was lost in thought just now when you came in. 
I thought it was just my imagination, as I had been looking through Cassandra's trunk and had seen an old photo of her. Oh, that was, was supposed to be her. That is the same tile we had in the fountain. The <gasps> fountain was so colorful when it was new, but it has faded. Now, <laughs> Again, another thing she garden, hasn't restored or addressed in 50 years. Pattern, I remember when I could sit in the garden and imagine all in the garden. wonderful things as the water glittered above the bright tiles in the fountain. Cassandra actually helped design the fountain <gasps> when we first put it in. In fact, she made a beautiful colored drawing of the pattern in the fountain. Do you have any idea where that might be? Isn't that the I'm one I found? I'm not sure where it is now, but we used to have it in a frame in the living room. It was quite striking. Well, I'd better get busy. We have lots to do. Okay, we've got lots to do. Okay, let's- I guess we'll check in the living room. That's my main lead. <gasps> Kit! I see your sign! How do I get over there? What's this? A peacock? Oh? Must oh. be the painting Cassandra did. There you go. It really feels as though Cassandra is trying to tell us something. That Mrs. Danforth is really the evil one all along. She's a lying, manipulative bitch who stole her sister's true love. Must North, east, southwest. Okay, we probably figure out what direction that is from the sundial. <laughs> Putting all the pieces together using my brain. I should drain the water. Drain the water. I wonder if this is what I use. <gasps> I knew it! The hose! Wait, it's broken. Tied with the dust cloth. Suck, suck out the water. Wait, this. Oh, <gasps> so that's what it is. It's like a pump. Okay, I would never have been able to say that. It does seem as though Cassandra is trying to tell us something. Beware. I'm so glad you said that. I have the same. Oh, maybe Cassandra. Okay, so if anything. we assume that Cassandra is good, then maybe she just wants Mrs. Danforth to find the necklace where she hid it in some in cement somewhere in the garden. And she's a benevolent ghost. Although I don't know if she was a good ghost, I don't know why she'd be like, Jane, come down the stairs in the dark and kill yourself, Jane. I don't know, I don't know. The pattern is terribly faded, and I was hoping you had something I could use to color some of the tiles. I'm not sure if they would work, but I have these crayons if you would like to try them. <gasps> crayons? <laughs> I don't think you can color tiles with crayons. That's perfect. I'll give it a try right now. <gasps> great, great. Got, got me some Crayolas. Gonna go do a home DIY job. Here's a life hack for you all. Um, your tiles aren't the right color? Save money by coloring them with crayons. Oh, I don't even have to do this puzzle. She's just got, she, wow, those crayons work really well, especially considering it looks like I only have four colors. You know, if this was a Nancy game, you'd have to place every individual color tile and replicate the picture exactly. But luckily this is Miss Clue, and they value your abilities a lot less than Nancy games. I know what the answer is. I'm going to get it, and when I show it to Mrs. Danforth, she will too. Uh, do you know what the answer is? Maybe it's that the necklace is there. So I only had to color one side? Okay. I could play the song again. Oh, she took the sheet music! What?! I think she took the dire diamonds with her when she eloped. In fact, I think they are still right here. I can't see how that could be. Everyone has looked for those for years. Oh, because they're in the fountain! Diamonds and roses! Diamonds in the roses! The answer is actually right here in Cassandra's favorite song. I don't think I understand. Here, just read the title of the song. Diamonds and Roses. Yes, that was her favorite. Now, do you remember the fountain and the- I don't know how she found- realized all this from finding a broken tile in her trunk. Now, do you remember It's a bit of a stretch. And the broken red tile I found in her trunk? Yes. When I colored the tiles in the fountain, it came to me. She had Jake, your gardener, break out the tiles in the red rose and hid the necklace oh, in the fountain. Oh, Jane the isn't so dumb after all. That does sound plausible. 
But I would hate to tear out the fountain if we were wrong. The fountain All looks like shit. <laughs> I've colored it with a crayon. You don't want it looking like that. I know the name of a good handyman we can get to come out and do that. Do you? Because you've not hired a handyman to do anything. thing in the morning. Or oh, the ghost is angry, displeased. That sounds like it's coming from the garden. I hope the Grim Reaper is back on his heelys. I don't know why Mrs. Danforth isn't coming with me. Is she not interested? I'm like, also, I'm her, like, little... I don't know actually how I'm related to her or how I know her, but I'm like a child. He <laughs> 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 you, you heelied off on his heelys. I'm coming for you, bitch. Wait. He's gone. <gasps> Wait, has he taken... Has he taken the diamonds? The dire <laughs> diamonds? No! Oh! <gasps> No! Not the dire diamonds! <laughs> oh, heavens! Um, I guess I better go tell Mrs. Danforth. Instead of going after the culprit. Oh! Oh, okay, no. <laughs> that wasn't what I was supposed to do. Grim Reaper escapes with valuable dire diamond necklace. After blending in the costume party held at the Grand Hotel, the mysterious Grim Reaper made his getaway without any problems. I don't get this subplot about the Grand Hotel. It was in the other newspaper. They're like, oh, the most popular costume at the costume party at the Grand Hotel is the Grim Reaper. Like, what is the Grand Hotel? Why do I care? Like, is it in the neighborhood or what? <laughs> Me diamonds! <laughs> there was a thing! Did I not notice? Was it on the gate? On the fountain? Oh, the you're Grand right! Hotel. I wonder if we'll have time. <laughs> I wonder if we have to go to the Grand Hotel! Finally, we'll figure out what the deal is with the Grand Hotel. It was the Grim Reaper again. He has Our broken Grim Reaper. the corner of the fountain and escaped with the diamonds. Those are a family heirloom that I would truly- Oh, a family like heirloom now! Before she was like, they're so valuable, I could sell them! <laughs> now they're How beloved family heir heirloom. Always very prompt. Oh, I'm excited! A new location right at the end of the game! And step on it. We haven't a second to lose. Uh, we're going through the I'm time vortex, class. like in Doctor Who, I That's think. Him. I'm <gasps> sure of it. And he's running for the hotel. Where? Where? If we don't stop him, we'll never find him in that costume party. Halloween costume party. Where is he?! I can interact with this vase. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Who is it? This man I've oh, never Kenny. seen. The gardener's little Kenny. Kenny? My name's not Kenny. They never it's mentioned Kenny a Kenny I before now. Not Kenny. once have they mentioned a I Kenny. This is such a fucking cop out. Kenny. I've looked there several times over the years, but never found it. When I found out you were moving... Also, I love that they didn't want to animate his face. So if we give the diamond necklace back now, we can just forget about this. Okay, you win. Here it is. That easy, huh? This has turned out to be the most exciting... Send him to jail! And Fucking Kenny! Gives me so many options. It would have been a real tragedy to have so, lost such a wonderful family heirloom. She's going to Diamond sell it, Jane. That's what she means about so many options. The truly special part of this Halloween is that I feel as though I have reconciled with my Wait, sister. so the ghosts were real? I had on my wedding day it's Mr. Me McGregor. You can't imagine how many haunted her. I that ooh, there's a metaphor there. That we had quarreled. Now all that seems behind me, and it is almost as though I am starting a new life. With Bye. the money from my dire diamonds. Look at her. Halloween to you too. Bye. I Creepy. Who that is. He seems rather tall for a trick or treater. Excuse me. Are you Mrs. Danforth? Why, yes, I ah. am. Do you recognize me? It's been a very long time. John. Mom. <laughs> my visit with Mrs. Danforth resulted in the most amazing Halloween ever. <laughs> his son Even was alive. He wasn't. Someone was trying to tell me something. Oh my the God. more I, I will have to write you a detailed account of all that happened and Mrs. Danforth's amazing story. But for spooky Halloweens, 
This one has to be tops on my list. It was 1933. So it was the first Mrs. World Danforth's War. Sister, okay, now we have a time have period. To solve the mystery of where the long lost dire diamonds had been hidden. Not only that, but Mrs. Danforth was reunited with her son John, who she thought had been lost during the war. It turns out that John was injured in France and had lost his memory. He was captured by the convenient enemy, amnesia and uniform. So when he escaped a few weeks later and was picked up by our boys, no one could figure out who he was. During his recovery in England, he fell in love with his nurse and they married soon after the war ended. John went on to become a doctor and has a thriving practice. His wife is quite charming and so are his six children. John's been busy. That John regained his memory and they just, just, to just like that. To the dire mansion just and like find that. He suddenly regained Mrs. his Daniel memory. Was so thrilled to have her son back and it seems as though the entire family had always been together. John and his wife have decided to move back to the dire mansion with Mrs. Danforth. I can't think of anything. I feel like this guy's just impersonating John. I don't believe his story. I'm very suspicious. I think we should say. I think the, don't think the mystery's over. Oh my god! What a amazing game.